Hey YouTube, one of my subscribers, I didn't realize the other day and I apologize, my video had got wind noise in it when I was collecting it corn. What I was saying about this lift arm, this lock nut right here is very important. The lift on a 140, at least mine, and I think most of them, they have down pressure on them. And so when this thing is locked in and you're pushing it down, you're putting a lot of strain on this bar here. That's okay if you're running these back feet with these springs because these springs can take a little bit of it if it starts getting into some hard dirt and pushing it down too far. But when you're running a plow or a hair or a disc, um, scrape blade, something in that, you really should have this thing in float. Just unloosen this collar and bring it up to about right here and and let this arm float because if you don't there's a slight bend from the factory and i think it's this one right here and somebody along the way has bent this one and you'll see a lot of these 140s with them welded with a piece of angle iron right here because they've bent this out so far and it's because of this nut here is locked in so yeah cultivating is fine probably to have it locked in because you got the spring arms to take up the slack but if you're disking plowing you want this thing in float matter of fact when you're plowing this is in float and that center bar right here is what controls the depth of the plow you'll pull it down you'll pull this down to make it go lower and you'll push it up to make it go up what it does is the tip of the plow it starts going down deeper or pulling it back up out of the ground uh, but sorry about that. I just wanted to mention that and uh, thank you.